Vice President Joe Biden honoring the more than 23 million living soldiers at the Tomb of the Unknown at Arlington National Cemetery today. One of the many celebrations around the globe honoring our bravest past and present. And thank you so much for joining us on this Veterans Day. I'm Erica Miller. I'm James Wilcox. It's a day that will go down in history. Tonight, Dodge County unveiled its Civil War Memorial, remembering those who died so long ago. ABC6 News reporter Jill Casperi standing by live tonight to tell us all about it. Hi, Jill. Hey, James and Erica. It was a very somber night here in Wasioja. This memorial that you see here behind me, it was unveiled for the first time to a standing room only crowd. As you can see on it, is depicted a Civil War battle fought bravely by Minnesota soldiers. It's been uh, 150 years ago last week. The Civil War really began with the election of Abraham Lincoln. It looked like you traveled back in time in Wasioja Thursday night. But the guns and the 1860s clothing was all in honor of the brave Dodge County soldiers who fought and died in the Civil War. We're dedicating the first Civil War monument uh, in Minnesota in a long time, perhaps as much as uh, 80 or 90 years. The memorial has been a long time coming, 143 years to be exact. Two years after the war, uh, the, uh, the civic leaders of the county uh, were s decided to, to build a monument. Well, they never, get, they never got it done. But now, on this Veterans Day, it's done. It feels good that we finally got to it and got it done. A day that many have waited for, but maybe none more than Donald Zeller. Well, it's a very important day to me because uh, I studied their life and um, it seemed like my uh, grandmothers realized very early in my life I needed to know a lot of this history. <laughs> the names of three of his relatives. John Zeller, he, he's my great-great-grandfather. Have already been engraved in these papers. It is a great thing to uh, honor our veterans. An honor and memories that are built to last. Now the memorial is built next to this old seminary. The reason for that is 10 of the former students and three staff members were among the first to go off to war from here in Minnesota. Reporting live in Wasioja, Jill Caspery, ABC6 News.